Hello my friends, welcome back and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Sana. I am super happy to be sharing with you guys my incorporation of alternate day fasting with my carnivore way of eating. And today is Sunday, it is October 8th and today is an eat day. I did actually have some plans to go shopping. We shop at a Costco that is about an hour away from our house. And in the meantime, we also met up with some friends. So the friends that we met up with, you will see a photo that I'm gonna post here uh, shortly. It's gonna pop up for you all. But we met up with Hope and Andy from Mission Keto. I was so excited to meet them in person. Uh, it was really great to actually see who you've been seeing on the screen, but actually seeing them off screen. It was super exciting. Um, and we definitely just enjoyed the, the time that we were able to have with them. So I am currently at over 40 hours of fasting. I did not want to break my fast. I did not want to eat before venturing out on the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what I'm gonna go in with for breaking my fast. All right, my friends, so this is what I'm gonna go in with. Um, so I'm gonna first start off with some eggs. So two to three of these eggs are actually for my husband. They are just salted with some Redmond salt. Um, so I'm gonna go in first with eating about two to three of these eggs to break my fast. And then I'm gonna wait about 30, 35 minutes. And I'm gonna go in with what I have here. So I just have some turkey deli meat. And I have, it was four slices that I simply just uh, just split them down into square slices of some Havarti cheese. The Havarti cheese actually has been working really well for me. It does actually have a taste profile. So that was definitely interesting to find out when I experimented with it last week. So I'll definitely be continuing using this Havarti cheese for the times that I want to incorporate cheese. But this is what I'm going to go in with for my first meal. All right, my friends, it is 7.30ish p.m. on this Sunday. So I'm going to go in with my last meal before I close things out for another 36 hours of fasting ahead. So here I have three of the 8515 LD frozen burger patties that I simply just baked in the oven and just salted it with some Redmond salt. I have some feta cheese crumbled on top. It's the same feta cheese that I showed before that I also purchased at Aldi. And on the side here, I purchased these at Costco. We have had them before. Um, so they are just chicken meatballs. They are a little bit kind of like the little appetizer petite size, but I will show you all the packaging as they are clean ingredients. So these are labeled as Jones Dairy Farm, certified gluten-free chicken meatballs. You can see the information here that it's 80 chicken meatballs in this bag, making it a total of 2.5 pounds. And let me go ahead and flip it over to the back, that way you all can see the information because I know everybody's journey is different and that is definitely okay. So if you are compliant with being able to incorporate chicken, water, sea salt, spices, lemon peel powder, dried garlic, and dried parsley, this is definitely a good clean option for you all. And just to kind of give you a little snippet of the nutritional facts there, but this is definitely something that does not hinder me. I've tested it already and my body does well with it. So I'm definitely gonna go in with them to close out this dinner. And that is what I'm gonna have for this Sunday night's dinner. Hello my friends, it is Tuesday. It is October 10th. I'm going to try to really make sure I am mentioning each and every feast day because I think there was a little bit of a confusion with one of the comments that I got on my previous video that it was under the assumption that I was eating all of the meals I was showing in one given day, but no. This is alternate day fasting with the incorporation of my carnivore journey. So this is my next feast day for this week. So I am first going to go in as I always do with three boiled eggs salted with some Redmond salt. So I'm going to go in with breaking my fast. I'm currently right now at 39 hours and 30 ish minutes. So I did go definitely a lot longer. 
So about like three and a half hours longer than when I wanted to initially break it, which is generally the 36 hours that I'm trying to stay within, but it has been a crazy hectic morning, especially at work. So I'm just getting a chance to break my fast now. So I'm going to go in with the three eggs and then I'm going to show you all what I'm going to be having come my first actual meal that would be at lunchtime. All right, my friends, I am on my lunch break. So what I did was I cut up the last ribeye steak that was left over. As you all know, our household is definitely part of the Waste Not, Want Not Club. So the last ribeye that we had left over, I simply just sliced it up, skilleted it really quick in some butter, salted it some more with some Redmond salt. And then here on this side, I have some leftover. We're using up the last little bit of the chicken meatballs that I showed you all from Sunday that I purchased from Costco. It was those clean ingredient meatballs. They taste amazing. So if you have a Costco available and they have them in stock and those ingredients, those simple ingredients comply with your way of eating, definitely check them out. Even if you have kids, or a spouse that is not doing any way of eating, whether it's keto, ketovore, carnivore, they will love them as well. So make it easy peasy on yourself and find those type of meals that everyone can enjoy no matter what their way of eating is in the household. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this while I still have some lunch break time left over. All right, my friends, so to wrap up this Tuesday, I'm going in with my dinner. It is about 7.20ish p.m. You might have seen a community post that I did. We had purchased a couple weeks ago a big piece of brisket and part of it we cut down into cube and simply just put it in Ziploc baggies and freezed it. That way we were able to get some additional dinners out of it. That's definitely a way to make this way of eating affordable is to simply just purchase a big cut of meat cut it all down and portion it out for future dinners. So I have the brisket here. There might be a wrong way to do this for me. As long as it tastes good, I will use any cooking method. So I am definitely not the one to follow. If you are expecting to see lovely smoked brisket with a smoke ring, et cetera, et cetera, I will do me and this is simply how i did it so i just baked it in an aluminum pan seasoned it with some redmond salt some garlic powder just tossed it around in a little bit of melted butter covered it with some aluminum foil baked it 350 degrees fahrenheit for three hours and it came out super super soft so as you can see it came out to be just beautiful fatty meat and it is not well done so as you can see there's still a little bit of red in there so this would more so be more to your medium to medium well um, which i'm totally fine with over here what you see is some of the havarti cheese i just melted it on a piece of parchment paper in the oven just to melt it so it can be like a melted sheet on top and i just have a dollop of some clean ingredient daisy sour cream but this is what i'm going with for dinner and that wraps me up for this tuesday feast day hello my friends it is thursday october 12th so i am on to my next feast day i just wanted to show you all it is still very early in the morning and i'm just going to show a little bit of a tip i am definitely one that tries to be part of the club of work smarter not harder sometimes it does not always work out that way but sometimes i do get those light bulb moments so what you see here is what i am prepping in advance for my lunch i am blessed to be able to work from home so i do have the benefit to be able to cook my meals fresh and hot at home so what i simply have here is in my ninja foodie pot i do have the wired rack in here, but then I also have a sheet of parchment paper. I have some chicken wings that I thawed out overnight. So there are 12 wings here between the flats as well as the drumettes. And it really helps to have it on the parchment paper for me, especially, you know, when it comes to the skin on the chicken wings, it definitely helps to not have any sticking and to not lose any of that beautiful skin. I 
only simply salted this with some Redmond salt as well as some garlic powder did it on both sides and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge until I am ready for my lunch break I am gonna go ahead and stick this whole entire pot inside my air fryer but instead of on my lunch break I only get 30 minutes so instead of using up that 30 minutes to prep all of this season it and then get in the air fryer I'm gonna definitely be able to save myself a good chunk of some minutes you know anywhere from six to eight minutes so I don't know about you when it comes to work lunch breaks if you get 30 minutes or if you get an hour but that 30 definitely goes by super super fast so to be able to do a little bit of prep really is helpful if you are someone that works out of the house this is definitely prep that you can do and then once you get home you can definitely just stick this in the air fryer go ahead take yourself a shower get a little bit of errands done around the house when you get home and this is also a useful tip for you as well all right my friends so i am currently at about 30 hours and 40 ish minutes into my fast I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what I'm gonna break my fast with shortly. I am not quite ready to eat as of yet, uh, so I'll probably just go in with some sparkling water and then show you all a little bit later on what I'm gonna go in with for breaking my fast. All right, my friends, for this Thursday, I am actually over 40 hours now, so I am about at 40 hours and almost upwards to 40 hours and one minute. It has been a really hectic morning so far at work. So I'm just getting a chance now to take my first 15 minute break. So I'm gonna go in with breaking my fast and I'm just gonna go in with three over easy eggs just salted with some Redmond salt. And that's what I'm gonna go in with and stay tuned for my first official meal when I go in for lunch later on today as I am looking forward to those chicken wings. All right, my friends, I am just getting my lunch break now, so I'm going to go ahead and make this quick while I still have some time remaining. So these are those chicken wings that I showed you all that little prep that I do. So I just air fried them on the parchment paper and I like to do 380 degrees Fahrenheit. I like my extra crispy. So if you are part of the extra crispy club, I do 15 minutes on one side, do a flip, do another 15 on the other, and it gets it a really nice crisp. And I use some clean ingredients. It's clean ingredient to me, up to you, up to your journey on whether or not this is clean ingredient. But I splash just a little bit of this crystal hot sauce on the top. Let me show you guys the ingredient listing. So it has aged red cayenne peppers, distilled vinegar, and some salt. So that is simple ingredient to me. It does not hinder me um, so or cause me any irritation. So I'm definitely incorporating it in my journey. And here I just have some of the feta cheese that I purchased from Aldi. I'm still working on that eight ounce block. Um, and I just keep it in a glass container to preserve it. But this is what I'm going to go in with for my first meal. Um, and also on the side here, I have from Costco, we purchase, it is uh, Tetons, Tetons, however you pronounce it, but it is the beef Polish sausages. So I'm having two here. I air fried them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for six minutes. So this is what's going to do me for this lunch. Stay tuned for dinner. All right, my friends, for this Thursday evening for my dinner, I'm going to go in with those deli turkey chips that I had dehydrated. By now, you'll already see that video posted right before this video. So it's actually posted from today, Thursday. Uh, so go ahead and check that out if you have not already, because it will show you how to accomplish these. But it is just deli turkey chips that I dehydrated, covered with some ground lamb that I purchased from Aldi. And I melted some Havarti cheese on top and I have a good dollop of some Daisy sour cream that is clean ingredient. So this is what I'm going to go in with for my last meal to wrap up this week. And straight after I'm going to start the clock for another 36 hours. So this is going to be it for this video. That way it is an equivalent amount of a total of six meals that I'm showing you all. So I hope everyone that has 
decided to add some extended fasting to their carnivore journey. I hope this content inspires you. As always, my friends, I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. Until the next one, take care, my friends.